Hello and welcome to another video. This video is about Dentrix G5 uh, updating on the server. In this case I got a G4 server here. I'm going to update to G5. Uh, so I've already put the CD in. I went ahead and click on install now. And it needs to do a .NET update here first. So we go through that. Um, obviously the big thing you want to do is make sure without a doubt you have a backup of G4 before going forward. Um, nothing worse than having to go backwards and losing any kind of data so you want to make sure you have a backup. So I'm going to go ahead and accept the license agreement and then we're going to kind of wait for the install here. I may pause the video here to kind of speed up this process. Alright there we go. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click finish and now we're going to continue on with the installation. Once again, we have some prerequisites here that are going to install. Uh, one thing to, to note while we're waiting here is that uh, the data structure for G5 has changed um, kind of more to a database kind of set so the nice thing about this is we won't have to run rebuilds uh, like we used to in the older versions and it should help with uh, some of the network connectivity uh, between workstation and server so alright so I have read the tips go ahead and say next yes and I have accept license agreement and we want to choose server in the list and we let it go. So obviously it's looking for any G5 servers because it's searching for database servers. Alright, so now it's asking for your serial number. We're going to next. Okay, I'm going to do advanced. Uh, it's asking me which drive to install on. Um, this is important if you have a different drive. This one we only have a C drive. So it's going to go, um, this case it's choosing my C data. Dentrix is where my G4 is installed currently. Uh, if this was a fresh install, it would actually just say C uh, Dentrix common. There is a little bit of a difference when you're doing an upgrade and a standalone. Uh, because you already have some existing folders. So here's a, here's a warning about the backup I just touched, touched on a little bit here. It's telling you that the files have been moved to C Dentrix Common. Um, so if you're backing up just C Dentrix data like the old structure, uh, it's not going to be there anymore. So now it's actually doing the conversion itself. Um, as the warning says here, it may be time consuming. I I'm just using the Tutor database so it's not going to take that long, but it may take quite a while on your, on your guys's. Uh, so it's doing the usual stuff that we've seen before, doing a rebuild. Alright, now it's converting. It's probably the last time you'll probably have ever see a rebuild again, hopefully. So you can see right there the data path there. It's C data Dentrix data. So it's still in the old G4 area. So 
So this is where it differs a little bit if you're doing a fresh install. You can see that it's still copying some files into the uh, Dentrix data, my G4 location. If you're doing a fresh install, that location doesn't exist. It's just going to be Dentrix Commons. Um, and also you're still going to have your old Dentrix share. So there's a little bit of some network changes that might happen. You might be able to get rid of a map drive you don't need anymore. And there's the new path, and you can see it has the commons install location is where the uh, the new Dentrix G5 installer is going to be for the workstations. And we'll see that there in a little bit. We got our CDT update here. We'll go ahead and just update it. All right, continue. It, uh, once you download eSync, uh, and you should definitely do that, I'm just going to cancel out of that for now. Um, there's some good add-ons there, but um, okay. So this is going to be the, uh, the the administrative utility. This is where you kind of set up the export uh, kind of backup of the database, um, and I'll show you where it exists, and we'll kind of we'll put a shortcut on the desktop, but it doesn't put one there by default. Um, should open up here and yeah, there it is. So basically, this uh, this utility is going to make an export of the database at a regular basis, and then you kind of back up the backup kind of thing. So uh, here's the default days. There's the schedule. So obviously, I'm going to like to make this a little bit earlier. So I'm going to put it for like 9 p.m. because um, you know my backup is probably going to run at 10 p.m. Shouldn't take that long for it to run. Okay. All right. So again, I like to clean up my desktop of any of these things we don't need. If you're new to G5, definitely keep those. But none of these icons you do need. Um, you don't need Adobe icon. So I kind of like just to keep a clean desktop here. All right. So let's go out here. Let's go to my computer. Let's go out to where the data is. So there's Dentrix and there's Dentrix data. This is my G4 area. Um, so if we look down here, there's the server administrator. Uh, so again, a little difference. If you weren't doing an upgrade, this folder doesn't exist. So the server administrator is not there. It's actually in the commons folder. So just a little difference. Um, so here's the new structure here. There's the Dentrix in the common folder and then there's the actual the database this is where the data is and your docs kind of familiar with the other one uh, I have had one time if you had some custom docs that they're not there uh, you have to copy them from the old one and bring it over uh, another issue I run into is the sharing it automatically shares this common folder but I've had it one time now where the permissions weren't set to full control only to read uh, so like this. So what ended up happening is you're getting like you couldn't access the database properly. So you know something to keep out if you're having some problems when you install a workstation to take a look. Um, 